Nice, thanks. Well, don't get happy. You have your finger on a major bleeder. Mr. Carlson is running out of time. The only thing that you have won is an all expense paid trip to the OR. Dr. Gray, prepare to transport her to the OR, and let's make this happen quickly, people. I know when you were going to get the good case, so I would have let you stay in bed. How are you doing over there? My hand's getting numb. And I gotta tell you, this whole insides are bloody and squishy thing is so not good for my gag reflex. But I'm good. Is this okay, me being in here like this? Once Dr. Burke scrubs in, he'll have you remove your hand, and then you can go, and we'll fix Mr. Carlson. Good, because I know how much medicine I know, and it's just enough to never be allowed in an OR. It's my second week as a paramedic. I got out of school about a month ago. I haven't been doing this that long either. Talk about on-the-job training, huh? Burke. I need to speak with you. I am in surgery, Karab. You want to talk to me, sir? So I'm touching live, unexploded ammunition. I'm afraid so. <sighs> Not the greatest feeling in the world. Pink mist. Excuse me? That's what the bomb squad calls you when you blow up. Pink mist? I read that somewhere. Bomb goes off and anyone in range explodes into a billion pieces. You're liquid. There's nothing left. Just flecks of human flesh and blood. Pink mist. Sometimes they don't even find a finger. One minute you're a person, the next you're bloody rain. Here, take this. <laughs> <laughs> 